All right. Thanks again for chatting with me and congrats again on your scores. First of all, would you be able to give yourself a, a bit of an intro? So my name is Ibrahim. I have a medical science background yep. and right now I'm a nurse. You started a few times already. How did you go recently and how did that compare in the past? So my most recent, the March 2021 exam, I got my best score so far. And yeah. that was um, mostly due to my section three, just section three. pushing, yeah, pulling everything up. Yeah. Um, the other sections, I always hovered around 60 to 63 for first and second section. And um, my, That's pretty decent. Yeah. yeah, it got the job done basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, my section three was always about 65, 66. Actually, 63 sometimes as well. Okay. Um, and I think uh, most recently it got up to 83. 82. Uh, which is a, that's a great score. I think most people would be pretty happy with that. Um, oh, yeah, I'm over the moon about it. Yeah. I think my weaknesses were definitely the parts that required reading the graphs and tables. Okay. Because yeah. I know with the GAMSAT, Everyone knows how to read a graph, and if yeah. you give it, if you give a person enough time, they'll be able to get it. Yes. But there were just some graphs where they'll overload you with those uh, data and everything, and yeah. I just couldn't get, I couldn't get the answer quick enough yeah. for those questions. So that was definitely yeah. my weakness. My yeah. strengths were probably like the logical ones and the mathsy ones. I I was okay. able to like follow uh, equations pretty easily. Okay. Yeah. Though I do have to say. Um, after going through your course, yeah. there were a lot of things where, it, like the things you said made it easier to realize what kind of question it was. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Not betting yeah. myself one way or another. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I suppose we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that um, in a bit as well. Yeah. You found um, the graphs were something that you want to work on. Yeah. yeah. I, I find that, uh, as you say, a lot of people know how to read graphs. Yeah. But the difficulty is understanding what the question is asking with regards to the graphs, you know. Yeah. And as you correctly say, the difficulty is also with being overwhelmed with so much information and not knowing yeah. necessarily what to do with that information. Yeah. So uh, one of the big things was me splitting like the graphs with what exactly they're looking for. So yep. keywords, look yep. at the graph, yep. find what I'm looking for, rather than looking at the whole graph and yes. overloading myself. Excellent. I love how you said keywords because I yeah. say keywords so many times in my videos. <laughs> That's good. I'm, I'm glad it, it's being hammered into my students. Oh. With the crash course, I found just the basics you need to understand the questions. Yeah. That was, and it was just all concise in one place, yeah. not having to look through yeah. Khan Academy. I know, you know, Khan Academy is amazing and everything, but having yeah. to go from one video to another and, you know, yeah. coming back, it's all just listed one after the other. You also uh, went through, sorry, you also went through yeah. like um, equations that you must know. I like yeah. that part where it's yeah, just okay. like, you know, F is equal to MA, you know, and yeah. the gravity questions, um, yeah. projectile motion, just, underst yeah. just understanding those concepts. And with the strategy one, as I said, just not falling for some tricks or knowing other tips and, you know, just being able to... Um, answer the questions in a more efficient way. Uh, there's a lot of different information out there yeah. about how best to prepare for the game set. There's still people who say that, you know, like even the ASA questions are no longer relevant or even DES is no longer relevant. Would you agree that there is some truth to it, but that the style of questions is still helpful? I think the st yeah, as you said, the style of questions through DES and through ASA, the ones that you've specifically picked out as well yep. in your courses, they definitely are, were very similar. Actually, okay. some of the questions in that, some of those questions I felt like I've seen them before, maybe before, because okay. of how similar they were to questions yeah. I've already done. Yeah, just same style. You just have, it's just style. different numbers or different words, basically. Correct. Yeah, yeah. and different topics, right? So Yeah, yeah. I think just reiterating what you've said throughout the course is a lot of the GAMSAT questions were based on reasoning. So many, so many of the questions in that exam that I had yeah. were just reasoning. I didn't know anything like 
most of the things are just like I don't know any of this. Yeah. But just reasoning through, you know, they give you rules and you just have to follow the rules. And, yeah. And or they give you an equation and you just have to follow the equation. Just yeah. A lot of reasoning. One thing I, I was really strong with was knowing when a question is going to st stump me. Like yes, yeah. As soon as I see a question that I'm like. I'm not able to follow the words immediately. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, I just put it to the side and just come back to it later when I have time. Okay. And yeah. I've managed to finish all my exams that way where okay. I would at least know the things that I'm confident in have already yeah. been done. Yeah. Great. And I guess you've touched on uh, prioritizing. So, yeah. yeah, you know, there are some people who uh, might be perfectionists in that they want to just do it in the same order. I don't think yeah, you, can you, can't, be a perfectionist. Right? you can't be a perfectionist yeah. in the game. So you have to be efficient. That's right. You just have to go give it a go. Does it look like it's going anywhere? No, move on. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so that's great. It's great that you were able to do that and be comfortable moving on and not getting emotionally attached. Don't get, to don't get attached to the questions. Don't get <laughs> attached. Worth the same marks. Um, well, yeah, thanks again for having a quick chat. No um, worries. One make, tip. Time. One yeah. tip. Know what inversely proportional symbol looks like. Uh, <laughs> I messed that up and I missed three questions. Oh, I was no. like, oh, yeah, I got just proportional, which, yeah, it kills me inside. And now I'll never forget what inversely proportional <laughs> <symbol> looks <laughs> Well, as I said, I could talk all day, uh, yeah. all night about this, but um, yeah, um, I'll, I'll let you go. And again, um, awesome score. Congrats. Thank you. You know, Thank hopefully you. you won't have to sit it again. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I've probably already applied for it just in case. And again, thanks for having a chat with us today. Thank you right. so much. Thanks, Barry. All See right. you. Bye-bye.